Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a review of Sugar Pill Cosmetics. Um, actually, I'm just kind of reviewing one item because I purchased one item. Um, I do realize a lot of people are getting sent things to review, but I bought this, so um, it's going to be 100% my honest opinion. Now, I ordered from the website, like one of the first days that it opened. So it was before anyone else has had any reviews or any swatches or anything. So I really went into it blind, not really knowing exactly how um, amazing the product was. Um, had high hopes because I was like, ooh, pretty colors and, <laughs> you know, nice packaging and stuff like that. Um, totally blew me away in terms of pigmentation and stuff like that. Um, very, very, very impressed. Also shipping, very impressed. I'll show you guys in a second what kind of box it came in. And obviously I'm wearing the colors on my eyes so you can see hopefully just how nice but I'll do swatches and everything so yeah so first I'm gonna start with the shipping um, I live in Canada and it takes quite a while for things to get to me normally it takes about two weeks maybe even three um, which sucks but it's kind of be expected I understand it by now and uh, yeah so I was kind of excited to see what kind of box it would come in because I'm kind of a freak when it comes to that stuff I'm um, very happy to say though that it came in a very very cute box. Um, you can see the little logo right here and um, it was well secured in a bunch of pink pink um, packaging. My cat, by the way, really appreciated the uh, pink tissue paper. He enjoys pink tissue paper apparently. Um, so in the box I got my palette which was very well secured which I was happy to see um, because with me, because it takes so long to get things to where I live um, I like it when I, when I know that something is going to be very well taken care of or well packaged because I don't want anything to be broken, especially anything that you put a lot of money into or stuff like that. But I was very happy to see that the box was awesome. So 10 points for that. Um, in the actual box itself, beside my palette, you get I got anyway two, um, two of these stickers, which are really pretty. Little glitter stickers. That's kind of cute to put on like um, anything you choose to put it on. I have one in my mirror, but... Um, next to my business card mirror array of things. Um, as for the actual business cards, gorgeous. Now, okay, I'm like, a, again, a freak when it comes to business cards and paper and stuff, weird stuff like that. These are really, really nice. This is kind of a um, plastic, plastic paper material, which is really, really cool. Um, this one, however, is gorgeous. This is amazing. Um, especially for a new company, I think... To have something like this made is kind of just shows dedication um, for me anyway. I thought that was really awesome. So yeah, um, the moment of truth. I'm sure you guys are all waiting. Touch the eyeshadows. Show us the damn eyeshadows. Okay, so this is the box that it came in. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it. The packaging is gorgeous, to say the least. Um, you can see even like the little detail in the background. and uh, Very, 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 very cute. And this is the background. Or the back of the box, I mean. Very nice. Um, so that's what the box looks like. Now you open it on the side, which I can't do because apparently I suck at life. Okay, there we go. And uh, this is what the palette looks like on the outside and the back. Now I know a lot of people have been mentioning that it's not made of plastic, it's made of cardboard. Um, yes, it's made of cardboard, but in my opinion, it, not, it doesn't seem like it's a cardboard that's going to be like, oh, let's just break or anything. Um, it seems to be really durable. In my opinion, I think um, when I get something like this, though, this is not going to be used and abused. Well, it's going to be used, but it's not going to be abused. Um, I'm obviously going to put this back in the box and put it somewhere pretty because it's pretty. <laughs> um, um, I do realize that for like traveling makeup artists, the cardboard box might be a little bit unpractical just because plastic withstands more damage and stuff like that. But for me, this is going to sit pretty on my vanity, so no need to worry about that. So the actual palette itself comes with four colors. You can see all this and a big giant mirror. Um, it's also magnetic, which kind of explains that it is a little bit on the heavier side. I don't have a problem with that again, because mentally I believe I'm like, ooh, I get more stuff or ooh, I get more eye shot. I don't know, that's just a weird thing with me, but I happen to like the fact that it's heavy. So yeah, the mirror and everything, um, this is what the four colors look like. I'm sure you guys have all seen it because they're pretty. Um, this one is called Flame Point, Butter Cupcake, Love Plus, and Poison Plum. Now, I already did swatches on my arm, which you can see here, but I will do live swatches right now. So you can see I'm just rubbing around a little bit, getting some product on my fingers. 
Um, there's the orange and the yellow. It's yellow, a little bit more. And the red, which is not. And the purple. So there's the swatches, no base on my dry hand. So um, I think that kind of speaks for itself in terms of pigmentation. Now, very, very impressed with all the eyeshadows um, in terms of texture and everything. The orange and the red are especially um, creamy to me. The yellow, again, yellow is kind of a color that you need to sort of pack on to get full intensity. Um, if you've used any colors such as MAC, chrome yellow, you'll know, like, okay, it's a very good yellow, but you do need to kind of pack it on to get full color. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of expected with most yellows. Um, the purple, I do think, could have been a little bit better. I, I would have loved it if it had as much pigment as the red or the orange does. Um, not to say that it's not pigmented in its own right. You can see I'm just touching that, and I still have, like, colors on me. Um, but in comparison to the red and the orange, it's lacking a little bit. It could be a little bit more creamy, like those ones are, but that's just my opinion. Um, yeah, so... Wearing the colors on my eye right now, um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial, so stay tuned for that because you want to know how to do it and all that stuff. Um, so one of the biggest things with me, obviously these colors are pigmented, but um, this might just be kind of special to me or very few people, which is kind of a cool thing, but it's just nice to put that out there, is I'm allergic to red food dye. Um, I can't eat anything with red hot, like red, red dye, basically, like red candy, um, fruit roll-ups and stuff like that. Um, I will get hives, break out, just all over a bad allergic reaction. Um, so I've noticed with a couple different eyeshadows, red eyeshadows especially, and blush, that when I put them on my face, my eyes will water, um, my face will break out, all that stuff. Not the case. Um, I was very, very, very excited. It was one of the main things why I got this palette was for that red. And because I was like, it would be awesome if this red eyeshadow was not a red eyeshadow that makes me, my eyeball fall out. Because I'm like, if it makes my eyeball fall out, then I'm not going to like it. But um, I was really hopeful that it wouldn't. Um, obviously, I would still use the three other colors, but I was really, really, really wanting a good, good red. Very, very, very happy to say, obviously, eyeballs are not falling out. So, woohoo. Um, <laughs> that's really good. Which kind of brings me to my next point. I know I'm rambling, but a lot of information I want to get out there. Um, on the back of the box, the ingredients are all listed. So again, if you have any allergies to anything, like I do, um, however, I don't really know what specific ingredient I'm allergic to, but anyway. Um, there's all your ingredients right in the box. So if you know anything that you're allergic to or anything that you're iffy about, bam, right on there. Um, also, some of the products on the website I have checked out are vegan. Um, I'm not entirely sure this one is, or some eyeshadows in this might not be. You do have to go check. Um, do check, because that's a really good thing. I had a boyfriend that was vegan. It's kind of an important thing to me, but obviously not so much. But um, it's just nice to know when things are vegan, in case you are vegan. So that's cool. Now, overall, really, really love the colors. Obviously, very pigmented. Now, when it comes to actually applying, you guys will, again, see a tutorial next, but I find with very, very pigmented eyeshadows that they're very hard to blend. Now, these are matte pigment or matte pigmented eyeshadows, which is something that a lot of people aren't used to. Even I'm not used to colors that are actually this pigmented. So I know when I worked it on, I was like, oh, let's get some color on the brush. And I was like, you know, putting a whole bunch of shit. And I, I put a lot, a lot of eyeshadow on at first and red. Uh, half, again, I have to start with the red, and I was like, doo -doo -doo -doo, loading up my brush, and then like one swipe of this, and I realized how pigmented it was, and I was like, whoa, you do not need that much product. Um, that's kind of a thing, yeah, you do not need that much product to get this color intensity. It's kind of insane, like it's kind of a little scary where you're like, wow, there's a lot of color. Um, another thing too, it blend, they blend together very, very easily. But you do want to be careful um, of fallout, especially with colors this pigmented, because when you're working with something like red or yellow or orange or any color that when you get it on like cheeks, listen, I got big cheeks. So when you get anything on your cheeks and you go to wipe it away, it stays because it's so pigmented. Um, one thing that I would recommend is one, 
be careful when you apply your eyeshadow because again fallout and especially something that is that pigmented um and this pigmented yeah um it's just to do your foundation last so that you can clean up anything that you may have gotten on your face that would probably be really one of my only complaints is that they're actually so pigmented that you have to be careful because they're so pigmented i think is like one of the things i'm trying to say but um yeah overall really good um i'm going to be doing a tutorial so you can see how they apply and all that stuff so stay tuned for that but first impression and kind of just like my initial review very good quality very very good quality um it's obvious that a lot of time it was put into um either researching or marketing or making things um I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed, especially for a new company to come up with something as pretty as this and not only come up with something pretty. I think a lot of people are really overlooking the fact that it is in a really, really good product. Um, yeah. So that's kind of what I had to say. I'm going to take a breath now. I've been talking for like way too long. Um, I actually recorded this video like four times. Then I realized I sounded like a retard because I was like, but, um, yeah. So overall, very, very impressed. I definitely want to check out more product. Um, I want to check out their pigments and maybe other eyeshadows and stuff. Because if this is any, um, any, what's that word? Any, um, sig signal? That's not the word. I don't know what I'm talking about. Any reflection as to how good the other colors are, then they're pretty good. So, um, let me know if you guys like this review. I do realize I was rambled for a very long time, but um, yeah, so let me know. And if you've tried anything else or you'd like me to even try some other stuff, then uh, please leave it in the comments. And yeah, so definitely stay tuned for a tutorial for this. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>